Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, this is my MCR B6TN. Um, so, so far in this series, we have purchased the cover here from the Honeybee Shop that I'm just absolutely in love with. We've created inserts, we've created dashboards, we've put the, the covers on the inserts. I mean, we've, we've done it all, right? Uh, I got this keychain, which I'll talk about later. Um, I have these couple little scraps here from like when I bought this My Chem book bag at Hot Topic and a little pin. I have an elastic because we're going to go over jump banding in a little bit. Um, it's kind of a fail with that elastic, but we'll go over it later. And then these beautiful die cuts from the Honey Bee Shop. Oh my goodness. So, so far in this series, um, I've shown you again how to actually create these inserts. If you have not seen that video, I will link it in the description, also in the cards. Um, also, there's a video on how to create uh, covers and dashboards, which I will also link that. Um, but I do have to give a shout out here for this art, this uh, beautiful dashboard that I print on vellum. This is unique art by my friend Ainsley. She created it and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I reached out to her and asked if she would be okay with me using it for this project and she was super stoked about it. So I linked her Instagram there on the screen. I'll put it in the description box. Go check her out. She's a super, super rad person. Um, so I'm really excited to have this as a dashboard in my uh, B6TN because I mean, just look at it. It's perfect. It's just perfect for the um, for the Bullets insert for their first album. Um, and I'm just, I'm in love with it. Um, so you'll see here, I'm just putting that first insert on the elastic. I found the center of the book, uh, which I signify with a piece of washi tape. Um, and then it's just there on the elastic. Um, and so with, typically with, um, Traveler's Notebook covers, at least in my experience so far and from looking online, um, they typically come with four elastics, so you can hold four inserts. So if you have more than four inserts, um, you might, you know, be like, oh, how, you know, I really want to put like five or six. Um, and we're going to go over jump banding in a little bit. That bat uh, dashboard right there is everything. It was actually a, um, a digital that I bought from Bare Necessity Sticker Co., which I'll also, I'll put all this in the description. Um, I just, I love it. I had to print it on vellum. I thought it would be perfect for the revenge insert. Again, I found the center of the book, which I signify with a piece of washi since I didn't use any, you know, staples or thread or anything. Um, just to make sure that that book is kind of on there, you know, the, the weight is evenly distributed. Um, and so here, I'm just going to show you how you can use an elastic. Um, like I said, you know, most Traveler's Notebook covers come with four elastics in my uh, experience so um, I do know that eventually I'm going to want to put six inserts in this cover and there's definitely room for it because my inserts aren't super thick um, right now I don't need you know I don't need to jump band but I just want to show you guys how you can do it because I am going to need it for the future um, and so this is just a hair tie now this is not ideal <laughs> this particular elastic um, I don't like it. It has like a ball on it. It's not very stretchy. I, you know, I got it at Walmart during like my last trip there. I was looking for hair ties and like couldn't find anything normal. I just want a normal hair tie, but this is what we're working with, but it serves a purpose to show you how to jump band. So basically you take your two inserts um, and then you find the back of the front insert. So the first one that you want. Um, you find the back and then you find the front of the next one. You kind of put them together like that. And then you're going to put the elastic around the back of the first one and the front of the second one. Um, and then it's going to just kind of combine them together into one. And then you'll kind of treat um, this here as the center. So that's like your center for where you're putting your elastic. The elastic in the cover obviously. Um, so you're just going to, again, treat that like it's the center of one insert um, and just take the elastic and wrap it around. And again, 
this is not ideal the elastic that I used um, like that hair tie that I used to jump band them but <laughs> you know it it shows you how to do it and I I am going to get a better elastic for when I actually need to jump band but I just wanted to throw that in here to show you guys how to do it um, my friend Annie linked me a another YouTube video on how to jump band that's how I learned so I'll put that in the description um, give credit where credits due and um, just wanted to kind of show you how to do that again I don't need it yet because I haven't created um, enough inserts to you know I don't have more than four so I don't need to jump in yet but I know I'm going to need it um, but right now I really just didn't want to overwhelm myself with uh, you know creating too many inserts before I actually start using them um, so I wanted to you know actually get started using them decorating writing all that jazz uh, before I created some more so I'm just gonna start with with four I'm gonna start with you know my chem's first four albums um, the main albums and then we'll go from there but don't worry I will definitely be making videos when the time comes to create more uh, and to update it and I'm also going to be doing some um, you know plan with me kind of memory keep with me for these uh, journal with me whatever you want to call it um, I'm really looking forward to it and so again Right now I have four inserts so that works perfectly for the four elastics that come in this uh, Traveler's Notebook cover. Again, this is from the Honey Bee Shop. I really, really love it. She has different colors and um, I have a link in the description to shop at the Honey Bee Shop. It is um, an affiliate link of sorts. I don't get paid when you click the link, but I do get points and you will get, um, you will get money off of your order at the Honey Bee Shop. So. But if you're not comfortable doing that, just honeybeeshop.com, great shop, highly recommend. Um, and so these, again, these tags, like I said earlier, are just from, I bought a pin um, and a book bag. And I couldn't throw those tags away with the, with the logo on there. Um, and so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do just yet. I'm probably going to end up cutting at least one of them out, kind of like uh, cutting around the logo there, making it more like a die cut. I'm not really sure yet, but I just couldn't throw those away. Um, and so for now, I'm just going to kind of tuck them in the front. So obviously this won't be like the final setup. It won't <laughs> look like that, but just for now, it's just, you know, just a good place to, to store it right there in the front. And oh God, these die cuts. I, I can't. They look so beautiful under my lights too. Like they are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and so I just thought they went really well. I just picked out a few that I thought went with the kind of aesthetic of this uh, Traveler's Notebook. And for now, I'm just going to tuck them right there in the front. Because um, again, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. They are stickers as well, but I don't, I, I have commitment issues and I don't want to stick them down yet. But they're just, they're just too cute. I'm hesitant to put anything on the front. I kind of just want to keep it plain. Uh, it is tempting to like plaster the whole thing with stickers on the front but I I don't know I kind of don't want to for this one I know it's so unlike me but <laughs> for now I'm just gonna kind of tuck those away in the front pockets and I'll decide what I want to do with them later uh, in reality I'm probably gonna end up laminating them um, you know we'll see it just not really sure yet it's uh, like I said I have commitment issues with stickers that are this beautiful um, and I don't want to stick them down, so I'm probably going to end up laminating them and just using them in the pockets as decoration. Um, but I mean, look, just look at it. Look at it. Oh, come on. So yeah, just going to tuck that away for now. And so, that is my current setup. All right, so when I saw this keychain, y'all. So, if you don't know, Hotel Bella Muerte is a um, My Chem lyric from one of their, in my opinion, most underrated songs, Jet Set Life Will Never Kill You. Uh, and when I saw this, I, I mean, I ordered so fast, I can't even, I couldn't even like think about what I was doing. I had to have it. And the freaking back cut out. Oh my god. So again, this is from Bear Necessity Sticker Co. I will link their shop in the description, but this is not available anymore. It was kind of a limited Halloween time release. Um, but when I saw it, I just, I knew I had to have it. And 
The only thing um, about it for this Traveler's Notebook is that the text is pink, which kind of throws me off a little bit because the whole aesthetic on the inside is not pink, but eventually once I get around to making another insert for the, um, you know, kind of the breakup era, the <laughs> May Death Never Stop You when Their Greatest Hits came out, conventional weapons, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of put that all together because it was during the same time frame. Um, actually the vinyl record for uh, May Death Never Stop You was pink and it's absolutely beautiful. I have it and um, I thought that I could, you know, maybe uh, scan that or take a picture or something and, you know, use that as the cover for that insert to kind of tie in the pink because, I mean, I love pink. It's just the whole rest of the, the inside doesn't really go so it kind of throws me off but um, I definitely am going to be utilizing that pink final record. Alright, so just kind of a, again, I'm going to end up decorating that pocket a little a little better. I'm just kind of tugging things away now until I figure out what I want to do. Alright, so here is a flip through. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed. That is my current setup. So obviously the next thing to start doing is actually, you know, writing in this thing, decorating it, pulling out my washi, pulling out my gel pens. I'm so excited to use my white and I got this like neon red gel pen um, to write on this black paper. I'm like irrationally excited about it. <laughs> um, but as far as like actually starting and which one I'm going to start with, if you're interested, um, I'm going to start with the Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge uh, insert, which is this one here. The second one, because um, if you watch the intro to the series, you will know um, that the um, Revenge, their album, their second album, um, was the first album I heard by them. It's my favorite album ever. Uh, nothing's ever going to change that. I just don't care. Um, and so, logically, you know, my head, it just made more sense to start with that because that was my introduction to the band, even though it's not their first album. Um, it is their first, you know, major label release, so. Um, and it's just, you know, that was my introduction to the band and I want to write about, you know, everything pretty much that I talked about in the intro video. I want to put on a paper. Um, might get a little more personal since this is mine. There may be a couple things that I don't mention um, or blur out when I record just for, you know, privacy sake of my family and everything, but um, I'm definitely looking forward to um, sharing with you guys, you know, how I'm going to decorate these and um, I'm going to, you know, do at least a few videos on uh, me decorating in here and I have a bunch of pictures to print out. I have so much stuff I want to put in here. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about starting, just because, you know, when you have like a blank slate, sometimes it can be really nerve-wracking to just start, but I'm, that's just what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start, and, um, I'm really looking forward to it, it's gonna be very therapeutic. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this series, again, it's not over, uh, it will be ongoing, because I will, you know, be posting videos on how I'm going to actually decorate it. And as my setup evolves, I can keep you guys updated. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't, because I'll be posting. I post a lot of my stories there and also on my feed. I'm going to be posting some pictures of my spreads in here. So, so I hope you guys will enjoy. Um, again, any shops that I mentioned throughout the video, I will have linked in the description. Um, so please check those out if you are interested. And other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing how I actually set this thing up. It's pretty cool to see it come to fruition after, uh, you know, I just had this idea and then it just, you know, now it's here. It's actually in my hand, so I'm really excited. Um, and so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Uh, turn on the notifications so you can be notified next time. I upload so you don't miss anything. Look at this washi. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, as Bailey Sari would say, make good choices. Uh, 
Feel your feelings. It's okay to not be okay. All that stuff I always say, but it's so true. And um, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>